Hey y'all. Hi. It's officially stepdaddy season. Yeah, what up? I got the car seat in the back. Let's go to the park. <laughs> Don't let your baby mama or your baby daddy block your blessings. I know in theory it sounds good keeping the same person to have kids with, but that's insanity as well. So if it doesn't work out with them, it'll work out with someone else. Okay? It just will. That's how that goes. And trust me, I know it's ghetto. <laughs> it is so ghetto being a baby mama and thinking about multiple baby daddies is scary. But, mm, you and my baby going to be all right. We're going to be all right. So we're moving forward, onward, and upward. Okay? People move on. Save the, you should have got the ring first. It wasn't going to work out anyways. Guys, as always, we are going to use this video as a teachable moment, right? A teachable moment. Guys, you have to understand, if you are dating enough women, you are going to come across a Britney Renner, right? A walking red flag. That's not a new thing, right? I'm glad she made the video. I'm glad so that we, like, this way we can understand the kinds of women that we should not be dealing with. We should not be giving our seed to. Guys, when it comes to the mother of your children, learn from this. Learn from this video. You have to understand, the quality for a good mother is not the fact that she is hot, right? When you are choosing the mother of your children, it's not for you. You're choosing the mother of your children for your children. What woman is going to be the best fit to be a mother? Right? Unfortunately, some poor PJ didn't have someone in their corner. Or maybe he did and he just didn't listen. We don't know. Right? But unfortunately for him, his baby mama happened to be Brittany Renner a walking red flag guys look learn from the situation that the crazy thing is that even though she's making this video and she enjoys trolling people and there are women like this that enjoy trolling people and they love getting one over on men right they enjoy it right and that's cool but my job on this channel is to teach you guys to avoid women like that. Remember, when you are dating a woman, you have to remove your emotions out of it. You have to deal with women in, in a way where it's like you have no emotions connected to them. You have to be emotional, emotionally de detached so that you can think logically when making decisions. Is this a woman that I should continue seeing, right? Is this a woman for just tonight? Is this a woman that is good enough to actually have my children? One of the criteria that you should be thinking of, right? When you are deep, when you are choosing a woman that's going to have your kids, how is she, what is she going to impact on our children when I am not around? Right? How is she going to, what is she going to teach my kids or our kids when I am not around? That's how you got to be thinking. Unfortunately, as you can see from Brittany Renner's situation, that kid is going to be pretty messed up when, the, when uh, he grows up. She's already, Im 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 man, she already created a toxic environment right off the bat from, from day one. A toxic relationship where it's like mom and dad are going to be combative and she doesn't care she thinks that's a great thing she thinks he's fantastic right that's why you have to vet the women that you that you are planning on making the mother of your children is this woman a good fit does she believe in delayed gratification is she somebody that will take the kids best interest in her mind when she's making decisions or is she gonna just care about herself, just like how Brittany Renner is doing? She's not thinking about the kid's best interest, right? And that's the thing, you don't wanna have the mother of your children being that selfish. 
is the woman going to be able when when you're thinking about the woman that's going to have your kids is this woman going to be a woman that is going to have our our kids because it's your kid and her kid you guys kid best interest at heart is she going to be teaching you guys this kid the right values when you're not there or is she going to be saying, hey, you know what? It's fine to have ice cream for breakfast. Right? Oh, no, it's it's uh, fine to, you know, have a bunch of baby mamas. It's, uh, that's, uh, that's fine. It's fine to get one over on people. It's fine to always take the easy way out. Never believe in delayed gratification. Never work hard for whatever you want. If you want something, try try and see if you can finesse somebody. You don't want the mother of your children to be teaching your kids that sort of thing. Right? Guys, that is the video for today. If you have not already, guys, go ahead. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button. Any comments that you guys have, let me know what you guys think about this whole Britney Ryder situation. Okay? Leave it for me in the comment section below. I love interacting with you guys down there. I'll see you guys in the next one.